What's up, my pals? We are back in Minecraft. Minecraft? I always, I, I put the D in there and I leave the T off the end. Uh, Minecraft. And I have some neat things I'm going to show you guys. Uh, you can see we're on the back to the default texture pack, but that's just for this this video, this update, because I'm currently, uh, right now I'm in the works. Uh, I'm in the middle of making, I should say, poncho pack. Oh, right. I forgot. Ladders are retarded now. And I can't... Okay. Well, first thing about the new update is that ladders... Uh, you can no longer climb ladders with gaps. You have to have a ladder on each space. And it's also true that when you make ladders in the crafting bench, what you get is double ladders. So it, it sort of evens out, except for the fact that all the ladders which are currently placed are now useless, and you have to go back and fill in all those bits. So, I don't even have enough to make a ladder, do I? Well, bollocks. Okay, let's make some more sticks. I haven't played Minecraft in ages. Making these videos is like, is almost nostalgic, because I don't play the game anymore. See, now it makes two ladders instead of just one. And I think we're going to need those just to get the heck back up there. Let's see. Is, that gonna, is two going to be enough? Yeah, two should be enough, I think. you got these ones that are one block, you can jump and just grab onto them. So let's... I can't put... I can't put it on tree, huh? Okay, whatever. There. Alright, let me out. Ah, okay, that works. Good enough. Okay, so some interesting things that were added in this new update is an achievements system. Uh, one of them is... Well, I'll just go ahead and do this now. Achievements. You open up your little menu and it's right there at the pause screen. Uh, this one I've already gotten. All you have to do is open your inventory and it gives you the achievement. And then... Getting wood. Attack a tree until a block of wood pops out. Okay, come here, you. And when you get an achievement, you get a little pop-up that tells you you got it. Boop! Achievement get! <laughs> Getting wood. And it opens up more pathways for you to get other achievements. You have to follow these paths, or you won't be able to get the ones later on down the list. So you see, next one is to make a workbench. So, you know, we've done all this before. You see that? I just tried to grab it from the bottom bar. <laughs> ah! Made a perk bench! Delightful. And you get an achievement for it. There's nothing really to do with these right now. They're not that amazing. You see, make a sword. Make up, you know, just... And then you'll move on from here, where you're going. There's all kinds of different things you can do, but right now there's only maybe a dozen of these achievements that you can get. As you can see, this is all of them. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There's only 16 that you can get right now. And I'm not really going to be buggered to bother just to go and do these, because I've already done all this stuff before. There's no point in me doing it again. Plus, uh, the patcher that I'm using to patch the HD texture pack has this weird thing where it, it resets your achievement count. Not sure how to fix that. But yeah, let's see. Um, What else? Uh, statistics as well. You can see all the different times you loaded your save. Various, various things. Interesting that I've loaded save 12 times and I've only quit 6 times because the game keeps crashing on me. I don't, know, I don't actually quit, I just stop playing when the game crashes. It tells you how far you've swam, etc, etc, etc. Distance by pig. <laughs> nice. Distance dove. Is that underwater? I suppose so. Flown? How do you fly? I don't know what's going on there. But as you see, this is general, and you got blocks, like times crafted. It's like, oh, what things have we made? You know, used, mined, items, various items that you've used and how many times you've used them. I don't know why you'd really want to be anal enough to keep track of all that, but I suppose if you wanted to do some kind of hardcore mode or something like that, you could show that you'd not used any diamond tools by showing that your diamond tool count was zero or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to turn this off. Uh, let's see if that bugs out of the game. Yeah, it's apparently... I don't know what that does. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, it looks the same to me, but... Basically, if you turn it on and off, sometimes you can get this weird bug. I, I actually really like the way the natural texture pack looks. And the leaves look more like leaves. I, I'm, and the things I'm adding in my texture pack right now are not really essential things. There's no real big problems in the texture pack, like an item that it doesn't appear, it's invisible because the pack doesn't implement it or something like that. No big issues like that. Um, I'm just working on making things a little bit better. Honestly, making the trees look more like trees. Uh, other things like that. As you can see, the grass is spread almost all the way across the skyland up here. You see, it's made it quite a way, maybe halfway across, 
But for the small amount of time I've been playing, that's pretty good. I'm not sure how far it was the last time I showed it to you guys. Let's see, what else is there to do down here? You also can change the GUI scale. So you can make these items down here really big. Or you can make them freaking tiny. Why you would want to do that, I don't know. I'm just putting mine at normal because large takes up too much of the screen. There we go. And all you got are other render, render distances and things like that. No new controls to do. Uh, one thing that you can do is hold shift on a ladder and you can hang on to it right at the place you're at without having to push up and down to stay in the same place and sort of try to hover. You can just hold the shift key and you will not fall down the ladder. I'll demonstrate this here. So normally what we used to do, had to do was sort of tap up and down like this to stay where you want to be. Now you just hit shift and you just basically hang on. And for then from here, you can actually... Well, it looks like you can... Hang on, let me... Huh. Yeah, okay. And you can still go up the ladder like this, and you can also step away from it. That's... That's interesting. Huh. And you can move left and right on the ladder. That's interesting. Uh, I feel like the way he probably implemented that is probably very shoddy, so... I wouldn't depend on it too much. Yeah, this is my little mod mod outfit that I wear on the server. It's weird to be wandering around this world by myself. I'm so used to seeing other people's buildings and houses and such. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, uh, I don't know. I haven't talked to Kelp about this. So I just actually just had the idea. Maybe, maybe we could load the server up next week on this world and just let everybody fool around in it for a while. I, I know I've already released this world. It's in part 61, the breakup, when I decided I was done doing Minecraft videos and stuff for, except for updates. Uh, I put a link to the download. I put a download link for this world in that in the description of that video. If you do want to play in this world in your single player, I don't know. I'll, let me know in the comments if you like that idea of having one week where this this world is a server world. I don't know. Or maybe we could generate uh, use this seed and then we could go build things where the nave and the narthex and such are. That would be kind of neat, wouldn't it? I don't know. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. I'll talk to Kelp about it. We'll see what we can do if that's what you guys want. Ah, uh, here's Chugga's Grove. I think I've already showed you guys this. This has been here for a long time. I made this one while listening to Chugga's Earthbound LP. And then I actually expanded out here behind the grove. The wall used to be right here. You can see where the snow is. I expanded out in this area. I think I've already showed you guys this too, but as you can see the wall is now larger. includes more of the area. Uh, something else that's different in this 1.5 update is that they've added weather. Oh, and the game randomly crashes! Woo! I don't know, my client does this all the time. Uh, apparently there's this bug where if you set your render distance to far, your game will just spontaneously crash on you sometimes. So, yeah, if you want to avoid that, just don't play on far render distance. I'm going to go ahead and actually, I'm back in the game now. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Let me, ugh, normal short, okay, normal. All right, um, and we're going to start recording now. So welcome back. Sorry about that. A little bit of fog in the distance, so that's fine. Yeah, apparently that's what causes the crash. Some kind of bug when you're on far. It just screws things up. Anyway, do I have a bench? Let's put a bench down. Because we're going to want to make some stuff out here. Alright, some new items that have appeared. First is a powered rail. This is pretty freaking awesome. But just like this, you see it makes six powered rails. These are pretty neat. They're essentially uh, regular rail tracks, except they give your cart a boost. So all those boosters and tricks and things that we've done in the past aren't really necessary. You don't you don't need that sort of thing anymore. And Notch was uh, always intended to do this. He he had, he had told us that this is going to happen. Uh, I, I don't know why we. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why it took so long for people to realize. Okay, is this? How do you make the slowing one? I'm not. I think it has like a pressure plate in it. Or something like this. How does it go? I don't know. So try different combinations of things. Oh, that's the that's the powered rail. Yeah, okay, um I'm just kind of juggling them around to see if I can get it to appear. I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's iron instead of gold. I don't have a bunch of iron with me right now. Look at all the gold! Oh Um Well I suppose I'll check. Uh, throughout this video I'm gonna constantly be checking things because I don't I don't know how to make some of the new items yet. And a lot of the things that have changed are kind of hard to remember. A lot of, a lot of really small things have changed. I suppose while I'm walking back, I can explain to you guys. Yeah, it is iron, actually. I looked it up, uh, by the way. That's what we're going to go get, some iron. Uh, why? I, oh, this is what the trap was. But it, there's, no there's no arrows in it right now, because it's so useless. 
But basically, where we stand in Minecraft is, you know, you guys know I'm making the update videos, etc., etc. I don't really play much except for on the server with you guys. And that's basically where we stand. Uh, I, I do intend, and I fully intend to follow through on my promise to continue Minecraft videos and make another series of maybe 30 or 40 videos when the full game is finally released. Okay, how the hell does this look? It's something like... It's got redstone. And it's got a pressure plate. There we go. Detector rails. Bam. They basically act the same way as pressure plates do, except they're rails. So now we have regular rails, powered rails, and detector rails. And they do various things. Let's run outside and try some stuff out, huh? This is my experimentation zone. I have purposely not built anything here. Even though I intend, I intend to put something here eventually, but I'm not sure what yet. Okay, so let's lay some rail down. We'll go start up on the hill, and we'll go down here. And then let's see if we can get the booster rail thing to work. So this is what I want to happen. I want to get shot around in a circle. There we go. See how that goes. So supposedly, when that cart lands on this switch right here, it should activate like a pressure plate. And woo! See the booster cart? Pick the cart up and send it along? Looks good to me. Let's try it with a person inside, because you know the cart's a different momentum when there's people in them. Whee! Yeah, so as you can see, it seems to work quite well. Of course, the tracks apparently still do that thing where... Oh, come on. Oh, that south-southwest rule continues to perplex me. But yeah, so you can string these together, and I think it's every 30 spaces, if you put another one down, uh, you, 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 you'll, you'll benefit from it. Let's, let's craft a little bit here. Because I want some more rails. I don't have enough sticks. I only have one more stick. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's 16 more rails is all we're going to get for now. I don't have any wood with me, do I? No, I don't. Alright. Where are my rails at? I hate that you can't turn like that. There we go. Just got to get it to fix itself here. So I so suppose we put another one like this. But basically, powered rails only boost your cart. Oh, come on. Urgh. Powered rails will only boost your cart if there's power being supplied to them. And so, these detector rails can be used to supply power to them. Basically, when, you, when the cart is on them, they activate, and they act just like a redstone switch. So if you did have a redstone circuit attached, you could use these just like a pressure plate. And you could have it power a detector rail, I mean, another rail over here if you wanted to. And as you can see, detector rails touching each other send the circuit through themselves. So you could have a long patch you know, to boost your cart off, but that's not really how it works. One, I think one of them, it gives you enough speed to, you know, be at max momentum right after you go across it. Or at the maximum that it's going to boost you, at least. Uh, I don't think these carts send you at, at a really high speed. I do know that they... Well, dang it. There's a pig in my mine cart, dude. But as you can see, it's... Well, thank you. Thank you, Porky. You're a pretty helpful guy, actually. You know what? You can help me even more, because I'm kind of hungry. Thanks. Om nom nom. What a good volunteer. Hey, you got another one. <laughs> Pig's getting in mine carts. I don't know what Notch was thinking. I really don't. <laughs> don't give me that look. You know I'm talking about you. So that's uh, detector rails and things. I'm sure that there are other, f you know, fine points that I'm missing. It used to be that putting this setup together with a detector rail next to another rail or something like that would crash the game, but Notch fixed that one. It seems like every time he puts out an update, he puts in a bunch of new bugs. Why, why do I get the feeling that the last couple updates before the game is finally released are just going to be bug fix updates? Like, eventually he's going to finish, and he's going to say, okay, all the content in the game that I want to be in the game is now there. Now it's just a matter of getting rid of the 180 bugs that we've introduced. <laughs> if he can manage to do those without putting new ones in, then he'll, then he'll be able to release the game. I'm dreading, uh, I'm kind of worrying, because I feel like uh, I wouldn't put it past Notch to release a final game with bugs in it or to say, this is the final game, and then two months later say, um, yeah, there were some more bugs we missed, so here's another update, and it just never ends. Because every time he updates, he puts new bugs in. Ugh. I don't know. But I suppose that for a game that I paid $15 for, and I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna play for the next several years, this is, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good value, and I don't dis-notch, 
I disnotched it in a few ways because I, I know I know what it's like to be a programmer and to write code. And I know that when you have to take a lot of things into consideration, and it isn't just, does it work? It, there's questions like, will we be able to edit it easily later? Uh, will people be able to understand what the code I've written is doing so that they can create mods for this game? Et cetera, et cetera. Do, you know, do we want to incorporate mods purposefully? And Notch has basically said yes to that, because he's, what is it, the, the smooth lighting mod, and I think maybe even, was it the wolves that Notch did himself, or was it... I don't remember now. But I know the smooth lighting mod was an actual mod made by someone who played the game and decided they wanted to make better lighting. And Notch said, alright, I'll put it into the game. And I think he might even be considering including the ether, but I'm not sure. The ether is basically the opposite of the nether. It's another user-created mod. You can download it online. Uh, if I put a link in the description if I remember. You know how I am about those. Okay, so... Wow, where, what else is there in this new update? Let's go look and see. Couple new things. There's weather, of course, which I mentioned, but my game doesn't be, seem to be experiencing any weather. I don't know where you have to go to, to get it, <laughs> honestly. But it hasn't rained or snowed in my home world, which is very strange because when this, when I made this file, it was snowing in this zone. So I know that this is a, 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 a Tiaga, Taiga, whichever the hell it is, or, or like a snow desert biome. So I have tundra, I guess you'd call it. That's what a snow desert is. It's tundra. But it, as you can see, it's not it's not snowing now, and it has nothing it has nothing to do with where the clouds are either. They're, they're not related, which is, I find it hilarious. Way to go, Notch. That's another thing that it wouldn't, wouldn't have been hard to do. Is you know where the clouds are. Is all it is is a ping file rolling over the landscape. You could just have it rain under the ping. I don't know. Maybe easier said than done, but still, it's something that I would at least attempt to implement if I were doing it. So no, I climb across the uh, the tops of my forest of light, and there is no rain or snow to be seen, which is kind of sad because I really liked, I really liked the beginning of Snowy World. You remember how excited I was in the first episode when I realized that I was going to get to make my LP in a snow world. And I, was, I, didn't, I didn't have to try a few times, I got it on the very first try, which is pretty cool. So, uh, oh man, there's probably more stuff I need to talk about. There's webs. Webs have been introduced. It's basically, it's been in the texture pack for a long time, actually. Webs have been around in the terrain file since the beginning, since since a couple versions into alpha, I think, but they've never been they've never been used, and so I actually didn't even include them at one point in the texture pack. I just left it blank. It, it is included now, and it has been for the past couple editions of the texture pack because I knew that it'd come back eventually once you know spiders or enemies. Obviously, the web was going to be eventually going to be used, and now apparently it is used, and it's it slows you down. You can move through it, so it's a transparent block, sort of like reeds. You can walk right through. But it slows you down to 15% of your normal speed. Oh my god, it's a pig on fire! Oh, he probably got into the lava, didn't he? I was hoping it was lightning. <sighs> but yeah, so those so weather exists and webs exist, but w webs you can't craft in any way. Uh, they don't occur naturally when you kill spiders or find them near spiders or anything like that. It's intended to eventually be used in spider dens, but they, Notch hasn't done that yet either. It's just you occasionally find them as random loot in chests and dungeons. Same thing as uh, brown dye and saddles. Some really neat items that we should be able to make out of leather, you know, or out of whatever else, but... Nope, apparently they just appear randomly in dungeon chests. I don't know if Notch is trying to force us to go exploring in dungeons or what, but I don't know. I don't find dungeons often enough for it to really be worth it to me. So go, start, go, go search out web. Uh, but, uh... And it would only be in newly generated chunks, too, so I'd have to go quite a distance and then find a dungeon, which is just a pain in the ass, honestly. Since the webs don't actually do anything yet, they just slow you down. They're kind of useless. They don't even catch you. Like, if you... Well, you're thinking maybe you can jump from a high height and then land in the webs and not take a take a hit. It's not true. You'll hit the, you'll hit the webs. You'll go down to 15% of normal speed. You'll sink down to the ground, and as soon as you hit the ground, you'll take you'll take whatever damage it is you're going to take. The physics haven't incorporated the fact that you're moving slower yet, because it doesn't actually change your speed stat. It just changes how slow you move, or something like that. Some loophole in the coding means that you'll still take full damage from falls when you land in webs, which sucks. So they're kind of useless and hard to find. So I am not at all motivated to show them to you. Uh, they are in the texture pack, though, so if you do find them, you'll you'll be able to see them. And they're going to look like a web, exactly how you would imagine it. What else is there in this update? Uh, lightning is one of the weather effects, and it can do some weird stuff. I know I'm sort of just running around in circles in areas you guys have seen before. I, ap I apologize for that. Maybe I should run over to the... 
another part of the world we haven't been into very much. Let's head over there, why not? Where I found the Lafus Lazuli, because it doesn't spawn in these chunks. Hey, it's a squid! Yes, the squid are now visible in my my landscape here. Oh wow, they take two hits with a diamond sword to kill? Squid are tough, tough creatures, jeez. Yeah, I love it when they spawn these really narrow channels, because they, they have nowhere to go. I don't get it. Squid spawning algorithm must be fairly simple. It's like, if there's water, there can be squids. They don't need a, a body of water of any given size. How much ink can I get from them? Eight out of five? That's not bad, I guess. I think it could be better. That's a really dark door. I need some torches on that later. Oh, Ness is dark, too. He needs some torches, man. I should put some on his cheeks. Because he has his bright, shiny cheeks. So basically, lightning... Uh, if lightning strikes a pig, it'll kill the pig, and it'll drop... Actually, no. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, look, co cooked pork chop. I actually get to show this. Uh, if you go back in the video, you can see the pig that got burnt to death, uh, which can happen by either lightning strike or falling in lava. It dropped a cooked pork chop when it died. And that's, a, that's something new that's added in 1.5, is that pigs that die by fire will drop cooked pork chops instead of regular pork chops, which is pretty neat. Uh, other things, if a zombie gets struck by lightning, they will turn into a zombie pigman. I'm pretty sure. And then if... I, th I think that's right. I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, I'm not totally sure. It, sound, it seems right. I know, I know I read something about lightning turning things into zombie pigmen, and I would think that it would kill pigs and turn zombies into zombie pigmen. That makes sense, right? Um, other things, if a creeper gets struck by lightning, it'll sort of like supercharge the creeper, and when the creeper explodes, it'll have a much more powerful explosion. As, a, as it is now, creepers don't explode as, as much as TNT does, and I presume that they would bump up to that amount or more after being struck by lightning. Skeletons, I think, just get killed by it because they burn up. I'm not sure, totally. Spiders, I don't think it affects, besides killing them. Um, there's one other thing. Oh, there's a new armor in the texture packs, but you can't actually wear it. It's only used when a skeleton or a zombie gets struck by lightning. It's called Power, is the name of the image, and it just looks like something got struck by lightning, and they have this electrical field around them. And that's what the image is, is that field. Let's see, what else? What else was updated? Let's take a look and see. You know, I'm just going to read some of these to you because they're all so small, there's no point in showing them. Uh, in fact, I'm going to put a link in the description to this page I'm looking at because I'm just going to read a couple things. Uh, I was wrong about the, the pigs. If lightning strikes a pig, they turn into a zombie pigman. And there's some other things here. Uh, uh, the game doesn't crash in a couple other places. There's, there's some new things. You can read through this page yourself. I just wanted to show you the really big things that have changed, uh, but not actually try to, you know, not, not nitpick and find every little difference in the game. Because that's just, man, that's, that's, that doesn't make an interesting video. One thing that did change is that your, your unarmed damage apparently increased, so why don't we fight some enemies, shall we? You guys probably get sick of seeing me run around on peaceful. But for me, peaceful is like, let's build things mode. So it makes sense to me. Alright, zombie time. So I guess these guys have, what, five hearts of health? Something around that. So five hits should kill a zombie with my bare hand. Remember those two zombies that killed me the one time and the chunk respawned? That's all. That was so angry. I was so angry. That was five. Huh. Maybe these guys have ten hearts of health. But still, they doubled our unarmed damage from... Wow, well, that's not so bad, I guess. From half of a heart to one heart. So we have ten hearts of damage. I presume that skeletons and zombies also have ten hearts of health. You know. You know, you know, that's how I guess. Yeah, I have a sky rail up there. I showed you guys that. It goes out to the other part of the landscape. I should have taken that. Oh, hell, I should put booster carts on it. That's what I should do. Of course, then they only go one direction. That's the thing. They have to be powered. But if you've... I guess I, I guess I should show that actually. Let's uh, let's do that. All right. So if you got a booster cart and then a switch after it like this, I'm pretty sure you, that it actually it actually will break the cart rather than speeding it up. Let's see. Yeah. See, it stops you dead, right on top of it. But if there's power flowing to it, it'll speed you up whichever direction you're going. I think. Let's find out, shall we? There we go. Now there's power to it. So shouldn't there be power to... Oh. Well, duh, dude. What are you doing? There we go. Power the thing, not the switch. <laughs> Lol. Alright, let's try this again. See if it boosts. Yeah, it boosts it in whatever direction it's moving. So it doesn't matter which side you put the switch on. 
So you could power them independently, or you can use these buttons. I think that if yeah, if this turned off, it acts like a brake essentially, and it'll stop your cart right dead in its tracks. Let's get a little bit of speed up, and then see if I can brake the cart. How about that? Stop it dead, right? Like right in its tracks. There we go. So we'll boost the cart twice. How about that? And then we'll see if we can get it to, if it if it stops us from continuing. We'll put some more track at the end here. There we go. Do a little science experiment here. Boost, boost, er, and brake. Stops it. Dead in its tracks. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be able to get it past it, because it seems like it's stopping it before it even gets all the way across the switch. I mean, it's still partially on the tile before it. That's how fast it stopped it. Alright, what if there were three? A lot of boosting going on here. I guess you really could fool around with this stuff for a long time, and I don't know if there's a whole lot to be learned from it, but certainly neat. Yeah, it's the definite, definite complete braking stop. Something else I think you can do is if the cart's not moving and you need to determine which way to boost the cart, if there's a block on one side, it'll boost it away from the block. So as you can see, uh, if we were to want to leave a mine leave a mine cart on this space and have it wait for us, uh, let's see, get off of there. We could hook up this circuit like this, and with the block on one side, any kind of block, you know, dirt would work, stone, whatever. As soon as power is provided to that booster, it is going to shoot that cart, even though the cart's not moving, so it doesn't have to, it doesn't boost it in the direction it's moving, it just boosts it away from that block, so as soon as you power it, there it goes. You could use this to start up your cart, uh, whatever. Is it going to grab it? Yeah, it will. Wow. Look at this, you could even have a cart go back and forth for a long time if you wanted to. I'm going to try that out. <laughs> Let's see if I can't get this to work. Okay, so we'll put a cart there, it boosts away, and it goes back. I wonder if there's a way to use this to do something. Because this definitely seems like a perpetual motion machine, doesn't it? I love games where you can make perpetual motion machines. This is just so neat. It's interesting. I wonder how far you could actually send a cart with one boost. Do I have enough dirt? Just uh, let's, let's, let's experiment, shall we? Get out of the way. Bonk! Yeah, it's going to go back one more time, isn't it? And the cart gets stuck. Of course. So I suppose putting a brake there isn't really necessary, unless you wanted to just have a, a tile piece rather than use the dirt. I'm going to make a little test track here, and we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can learn something else. One of the biggest challenges when you're making these minecart tracks is trying to get a cart track to go uphill. So what I've set up here is just a little booster track. Let's see if we can just, uh, let's just boost the cart, you know, once just to get it down there, and then another time right before it goes up the hill. And let's see how far up the hill it goes, shall we? So it's going to hit that booster, and how far is it going to send it? Oh, come on, grab it. Oh, dude, you totally had that crap. Seriously? I'm trying to control looking variables and just have one booster cart, but we'll see. There we go. Let's try this again. Yeah, not a whole lot of power in those boosters, actually, so I don't know what, I don't know how much you would need to take it up a hill. But as you can see, it's, it boosts right there, and then I don't know. You might you might need to already have already have speed built up. Perhaps adding more boosters here. Would it, well, dude, I didn't want to get in the car. No. Perhaps putting more boosters would improve performance. Four in a row before you go up a hill, maybe. How's this gonna work? Hello, what? One, two, three, four. Wow, I barely made it up that far, huh? Okay, so I can see that these boosters are going to be useful for moving around on flat surfaces, but it appears that even after going up four booster track pieces, it's just not, it isn't enough to get it up a hill, which is really sad. <laughs> I feel like it should be capable of this. These are kind of useless, and unless you have to have, you need, you need to have one every, like, three blocks in order to get up a hill. And in order to use them, you'd have to have them powered as well, which I suppose you could use detector rails for that, but, well, let's try it, shall we? I guess this is where it's stopping here, isn't it? It's getting up to there, and then, yeah, okay. So I'll put a detector rail before it, and then I'll put a booster cart after it. How about that? One, well, that's, the, no, that's not right, dude. It's the wrong one! Ugh. There we go. So we'll see if that shoots it farther up the hill. N nope! Because by the time it gets off there, it's not it's not powering it anymore, apparently. That's weird. Why does it get stuck? I feel like when it goes over this track, it should activate. 
Do those act? Do those pieces not work if they're on a slope? See, look look closely at the video and t see if you can tell if it's activating that track piece when it hits it. I don't think it is. I don't think that on a slope these these detector rails work because it doesn't look like it's putting power into this. Okay, let's experiment a little bit further here. Throw some blocks around it and see if we can get some power to come off of this. See if that works. One of one of those two should go off, right? I'm not sure what height you would need to be, so I just did both. All right, let's see if it activates either one of those. Okay, it's acti it activates this one here on the left, but it doesn't provide power to the track piece immediately after it, which I find really strange. Huh. Okay, well, what if I did provide power to that track piece somehow? Like, this isn't going to do it, is it? Okay, um, how about like, well, no, that's not going to do it either. Shoot. Redis is so complicated. Seriously, why does it have to be so complicated? Yeah, whatever. It's weird. It's a weird game. Physics don't make sense. But uh, that's all I really wanted to talk about in this video. I'm looking forward to more updates coming out and getting some actual new content, besides just a couple new little pieces here and there, and some weather that apparently occurs very rarely. No weather for me. <sighs> I guess if I'm playing a single player and some really nasty weather comes up, I will... I will, uh... try and record it or something, I don't know. I don't play single player very much, so... Probably won't happen. And I don't think we get weather on the server either, so... Whatevs. I do what I can. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, uh, one more thing to mention is that I am working on the Poncho Texture Pack, and a uh, Poncho 3.0 with a fully improved GUI should be out, uh, hopefully, in the next week or so. So be on the lookout for that one. Thanks.